Hi everyone, it is me, Sailor Mercury, Amy here, or Sailor Quicksilver, Amy here, and today we're going to talk about the hate that the Deacon Cloverway, you know, Sailor Moon got, gets from the Sailor Moon followership, and if it was truly needed or not. Now, I'm not here to tell anyone what to believe, what to think, what their take or thought should be on something or needs to be on something but I just think that the hate wasn't really tr wasn't really needed yes the Deke and Cloverway Sailor Moon did not have was not flawless but neither was Toei's or anyone else's take on Sailor Moon you see for whatever ground sake or why a lot of folks in the Sailor Moon followership over the years have either have this unlike of Sailor Moon, Deacon Cloverway, or they just flat out hate it. The things that they tend to bitch about tend to be the show playing. Now you're going to say, what do you mean show playing? I mean a speaking playing, or whatever you call folks who show play with their word instead of seeing them. Now the, they call them word players, I guess we'll call them. And these folks, they didn't like that, see, because they either were, they didn't like it. Now their forgiveness for what they didn't like that was all well. They're speaking Vinlander English. They're speaking oh, they're speaking four one Reichs English. They're speaking Settled Lander English. Well, those are the two ways of English spoken in North Vinland between the Settled Land and the four one Reichs. I don't know why they didn't like it, but they bitched about that. I don't know what they thought. And if it wasn't the show playing that they didn't like, they then bitched about things being skimmed out and being cleaned it out. You know, they bitched about, oh, about, the, about how the fights were skimmed, you know, and how, you know, how some, fall, some sagas were skipped over altogether and about how you know they shifted a lot of you know a lot of things around like stead names you know or strike names or whatever well at the end of the day what do you care first off why make a big deal about something like that you know getting all irked about oh the stead names being shifted you know, or strike names being shifted. I don't understand it, but these folks got mad over that. And then the other thing they don't like is they didn't like how the names were shifted. Oh, why couldn't we just keep the Dawnlandish names? Why they had to be shifted into, I don't know, we'll say Hellenish or Latinish or Frankish or Frenchish or Hivuish or Spanish or hit you know or farcius borrowed names well they made a big deal about that you know now all of this that they, all the things that they bitched about you would think that there was nothing good about it after listening to one of their films or lives or whatever you might come off the belief that it was a bad drawing show which it was not Another thing they tend to bitch about was a uh, oh how the on straight were handled. Well, they didn't like it that Zoysite became a woman. Well, I got news for you: Zoysite wasn't only a woman in the English one, which was offshoot for all the English-speaking world, but in the Germish one, Zoysite was a woman too. And the grounds to why Zoysite had to be shifted to a woman, the same grounds to why. Say Uranus and Sailor Neptune, Mara Michelle had to become near Kent, was that at the time this was being made for children, and at the time there was a held belief that home that any anyone who was unstraight or half straight, they could not say that or put that in children's shows. It's not like that today when there's more open-mindedness going on and more folks have took the time to understand unstraightness and you know half straightness and whatever you want to call it. It wasn't like how it is now 
back then there were a lot of folks that were against it and they thought that Deke and Chloe should have left it alone well first off I don't know any of the hate was truly needed or not at the end of the day I think that the show was good now is there things about it that were not right yeah but why I don't why I don't let those things get to me so and then on top of that they will gatekeep you now not all of them but some of them in the Salem Moon followership will gatekeep you and say that you're not a true Salem Moon follower if you like the Deke or Cloverway one and see what these folks who love the Toei one and love the Viz one now want you to believe is that they hated it that they shifted something on about you know 5 30 or 6 30 in the morning and now between 95 while either on UPN or WB or Fox at the time and hated it well none of these folks even knew what Sailor Moon was before they even watched it their hatred for it came out years later when they got the interweb and started looking up where Deke and Clover where Deke and later on Cloverway made some of their shifts from and then said I love that one and then started hating on the Deke and Cloverway one I mean if they got the way to feel that way that's their own business but making a big deal out of things I mean come on it's like oh the things that they make a big deal about are things that most folks don't really care about but they want to play as if it's a big deal oh I didn't like the way they spoke for themselves oh I didn't like the names that were shifted I didn't like stead names and strike names being shifted oh you know I didn't like it that they wouldn't they, they, that they had to they had to skim out the uh, on the street at the time and some of this stuff I think they just bitch because they just want to hear themselves bitch at the end of the day you folks who love the Viz one and think that the Deacon Cloverway one is some kind of sin against drawing shows and drawing films give me a break I mean I like Deacon Cloverway hell I like Pioneer Pathseeker you know that business that made the, 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 the free films anyway so at the end of the day I like all four Sailor Moons but at the end of the day I think Deacon Cloverway Sailor Moon was not as bad as you folks make it out to be you know those things that you bitch about and say that makes it unwatchable to you I think it's watchable to me and if we're not talking about the hatred you had for the Deke one we're going to be talking about the hatred you had for the Cloverway one because at least that one was more near to the Dawnlandish one more near to the Toei one but you folks still bitched about it and said how it still wasn't good enough for you well before I end this film I think that you folks just got angry over it because you wanted to get angry over it you know and then you probably don't like the Viz one either so there was a team called Save Our Sailors or SOS or Keep Our Sailors who if it wasn't for them Sailor Moon would have not gotten on USA or Cartoon or would have not been kept on YTV in the Settle Land you folks gave them shit for it but you should have been thankful for them because if it wasn't for them then Sailor Moon would that would have been it it would just been those two followings on UPN, WB, and Fox. You will not see a third or fourth followings. You will not see the free films or anything if it wasn't for them. And before I end this film, any of you folks out there that like to bitch and say, Oh, this isn't what Naiko Takaguchi wanted. First off, to Naiko Takaguchi and Toei knew when they gave a deal to Clover, a deal to Deacon, later on Cloverway, there would be freedoms. And as long as they followed the oversight laid out by the lawful deal that they won, they could make the shifts they wanted. Which makes them unlike the Sailor Moon that they were that they were fostered from. So is a hatred for the Deacon and Cloverway Sailor Moon needed? No. I don't know why they hate it. 
I just don't think it's needed. Anyway, <clears throat> if you like this film, then follow me over here at Sailor Moon for Life. What's the other film we made yesterday over here when Tuxedo Max Therian talked about uh, was there a fight between Sailor Moon and Mike Keepers? I, Sailor Mercury, Amy. I'll see you later. Bye.